Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for October 2022. This is a Halloween themed love reading that explores potential for tricks, treats, and bewitching bumps in the night. So feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. In this first column, we uncover tricks of the heart that Pisces might not see coming. You have Sassafras, healing, self-care, the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Moon. In this second column, we look at Love Treats in October's goodie bag for Pisces. You have Ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. You have Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, Six of Wands. And in this third column, we look at the potential for Pisces to experience magically delicious love bumps in the night. You have Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way, Full Moon in Leo. Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Hermit. So here, Pisces with this uh, Sassafras card, healing and self-care. Um, there's a sense of needing to spend more time on how you're feeling, um, your senses, your happiness, your, um, your comfort, your... Um, sense of feeling at home in your, within your own skin. Um, with the four of pentacles, um, you can see this individual is holding on tightly to these four pentacles. And that could be a sense of the four, uh, you know, different, different elements representing heart, mind, body, um, and spirit um with the ten of wands there is a sense of kind of being worn down so perhaps the trick of the heart that you're not seeing coming is that you really need to um allow some time to um kind of recover from something in your life. Maybe it's from um, a love connection that didn't work out or it's from work. Um, but it is a sense that if you take that time to heal, you will be able to kind of be back to your moon self again, your major arcana card. So let's take a look at some other tarot cards to to clarify here. Let's take a look at you. You have the emperor. So going through this focus of of being on you, um, it'll allow you to kind of set some boundaries, get some structure um, back and be able to tap into that, um, you know, the essence that is you. Let's take a look at the Ten of Wands. You have the Ace of Pentacles. So here you'll be able to kind of, kind of renew your, um, your focus on yourself, maybe even a sense of your, um, your confidence. Maybe you've been feeling kind of sluggish um, and focusing on yourself, your health, your body, your mind, your emotions, um, will allow you to kind of perhaps pursue some, um, new opportunities in the love department. And with the four of pentacles, you have you again with the moon. So Pisces, there's a real focus on you um, in this reading, a real focus on, um, you know, maybe even trusting your intuition, 
to to um, let you know that things are are a little bit off and you need a sense of being grounded and uh, centered again. In terms of the love treats in October's goodie bag with this ancestor's love and legacy of our DNA, there's a sense of um, you having a whole bunch of ancestors and a whole bunch of their journeys and strengths that have been passed on to you. Um, and you can see here with this wheel of fortune, there's a, a little bit of um, kind of fate, karma, something that is um, can be tied to your ancestors with the king of swords here. This could be like a, a parent figure or someone further down the line, someone who is really clear-minded, someone who is able to reason and analyze well and really set firm, firm roles. And with the six of one here, there's a, a sense of victory and celebration. So in terms of, of love treats, um, it's almost, it's almost as if because you are very much associated with the element of water and more tapped into your intuition and needing to focus on, on kind of getting grounded that element of earth again, it's a sense of, uh, maybe tapping into, um, someone in your, in your family line that is more um, analytical and more um, more focuses on the aspects of intellect and the mind to kind of, um, you know, it's kind of like you have those aspects about yourself and here, you know, once you get this healing, once you feel grounded, you'll be able to tap into that and um, be able to kind of find yourself in a situation where you're being um, celebrated, uh, surrounded by people in your community and recognizing you. And that seems uh, like a great love treat. So let's take a look at the Six of Wands. You have the Knight of Cups. So here it's um, a lot of offerings of love, a lot of communications of that um, connection coming to you. Maybe there's, uh, maybe it's a uh, a birthday party of a, a parent or a grandparent, and you'll be able to kind of meet someone that way. But let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, some kind of social social interactions where there are um it's as if you are going to be able to tap into this energy and really be able to communicate well with with someone um and possibly allow you to like um not allow you but kind of paves the way for some kind of new connection um Let's take a look at the King of Swords. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, so yeah, there's a sense of of you really kind of stepping into your stepping into your power. It's kind of like the um, Queen of Wands energy that I'm getting here, um, and kind of recognizing that. You know, especially with, in taking this step in focusing on yourself, focusing on getting yourself, um, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, spiritually in a good place, you'll be able to kind of really recognize what you have, where you came from, um, and what you've been able to accomplish. And a real, like, you know, a real recognition will um, kind of be had about you. Is that even a right phrase? A recognition will be had. You'll be more recognized and in a sense of more like um, 
offers of love coming your way. So with this, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo with respect to love bumps in the night. Um, you know, in terms of how you typically would get, let pride get in your way, um, perhaps you, maybe you have certain expectations of yourself or think that there are expectations of you. And so pride gets in your way by um, automatically shooting, you know, shooting you down or making you feel like um, you're kind of, what's the word? Not trapped in the situation is kind of what it looks like, but um, uh, trapped in a situation that you you've kind of created. Um, but with the Ten of Cups and the Hermit here, um, there is there is a sense that um, either tapping into again this this energy of what you've been able to accomplish where you are now compared to where you have been um this sense of wisdom that you're taking into the situation and also your your goals with this 10 of cups to really connect with with um a partner with your community your friends your family and really have that um, kind of happy life, like being able to experience all sorts of ups, downs, all different emotions, and really still connect and have someone be there with you. So let's take a look at what's going on with this Eight of Swords here, because it seems to be the most out of place, considering all these other cards are pretty good. Um, I would say with the two two moons, um, the thing about the moon is there's not a lot of clarity. And if you're going down that path and you have a lot of confidence, then you're able to be more clear-headed about, you know, how to handle the, the road ahead. Um, if you are someone who is... Um, has self-doubts, has fears that creep in, um, negative self-talk that creeps in, then things get a little bit more scary on that path. Potential dangers and, um, you know, scary things that jump out at you potentially. So here, the Eight of Swords kind of might indicate that, um, you know, you can have a, a like, a tendency to either um, your thoughts can play tricks on you, can affect your emotions, and that might be why there's a need to focus on being like really, um, you know, I, I'm making a fist, so like solid in terms of your being, you know, your foundation being grounded. So with this Eight of Swords, you have Page of Swords. So it's like this, um, the Page of Swords here, with Eight of Swords, I'm taking it to be like this, like, natty kind of, not natty, it's like a gnat kind of buzzing around you and kind of like annoying comments, just kind of uh, a self-doubt or, you know, like you think you can do that, kind of like a, a little kid that's um, being a little nasty kid that just won't shut up. It's almost a sense of that is kind of how I'm kind of, I'm sensing it. Like, oh, you think you can do that? Oh, you do you think you can do this? And, you, and that kind of sense. So perhaps that is how your pride um, manifests for some reason. So let's take a look at the hermit because the hermit is, isn't gonna take that from like, nasty little whiny kid. You've got the Knight of Wands. So here, um, 
it's more mature energy and really kind of gives you the ability to kind of tap in more of control over your um, your fire element here, but it still kind of indicates a sense of needing to to use like wisdom and reason to battle certain um, aspects. But it also could indicate that there are <laughs> these type of people coming up for potential love bumps. So you, someone who's got an immature, really anxious, jumpy type of personality um, or someone who is, um, you know, trying to to pursue, you know, whatever passions is going on, whatever desires they have. Um, for the Ten of Cups, you have the Justice card here. So a sense of recognizing, um, like, cause and effect. If this is your goal, then recognize the steps to get there um, and what you do can affect that. And if you if you want to, um, you know, maybe you in um, anxious, uh, anxious, uh, I don't know, natty kid. I don't know why it is this type of personality. Um, I don't see you with this type of person for the Ten of Cups, but I could be wrong. This is your life, but you are, you know, the Hermit here is sandwiched in between this Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Um, so this might be the, the wiser of, of the choices, uh, with love approaching you, desire approaching you, um, in October. So Pisces, I'm going to pull this Oracle card here to get a message from your future self. To see if there are any spine tingling love connections lurking in the shadows. You have this card here, puzzle pieces that says the big picture is coming together. So it seems like that 10 of cups could be your, your big picture. Um, and it is coming together. I would really like to know about this natty kid. I don't even know if that's a phrase, but it keeps popping up. Anyway, I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of love for you this month, and we'll see you next time. Take care.